Welcome back. This is the Grand Solar Minimum's Crazy Canuck. Figured I'd give you a little update on the bee progress. Uh, they're looking really happy. Bringing pollen in. All four of the hives. I got the two doubles that uh, survived the winter. I got the two singles that I just set up on the 19th, I believe. Everybody's bringing pollen in. Lots of lots of activity, which is really good to see. I'll be checking out that uh, five frame nuke that I set up to do a split. I haven't got any of my gear on, but uh, I just got bounced in the head by one bee. That's what happens when you get in the way. So I'll go over, open that up and see if I can get stung or not. I haven't had, never got stung last year and nothing this year so far, so maybe I should tempt fate. Be right back. So I'm behind the hives, don't want to get in the way of their flight path. Uh, this five framer, it, it froze again last night and uh, I've had these covered with straw just to help keep them a little warmer just in case there's not enough bees. You want to have enough bees to keep the brood warm. And I might have been a little light on the bee count when I set this up so I just threw some straw in for insurance. So we'll just get rid of some of this straw. I'm going to carefully open this up and see where we're at. Oh, they're all in. There's some bees in there. I'll just see if I can pull one and pull out a frame here. Oh, that one's heavy. I think I'm going to have to do this two-handed, so I'll just uh, go through it. If I see something interesting, I will turn the camera back on. Well, what we do have is we have a few bees being born. You can see them coming out of the cells. So obviously there was enough uh, bees to keep everything warm. We don't have any chilled brood, which is a good thing. No sign of any queen cells so that's interesting I might have to do another split but I will keep you informed so so far we've got uh, we got some bees hatching which is a good thing that's the two things bees always do is make honey and multiply isn't nature awesome Anyway, that's a, a quick check of the, the split, and uh, so far no queen cells, so I will maybe make some modifications and uh, I'll keep you informed. So someone was asking on the last video about uh, watering the bees. Usually don't really have to set it up, there's usually enough water kicking around. Um, this year is kind of dry, so I probably will have something for them. Uh, this is what I set up right now. This is actually a mix of sugar water. It's a little less than half sugar uh, to water ratio. And I've put in some small pebbles in the bottom so that they don't drown. And this will help them build up quicker. But when the honey starts being made, when, it's, when I start adding uh, honey supers, uh, it'll be just straight water. You don't want to mix sugar water in with the making of the honey. So I'm just using an old chicken waterer for now. Uh, I have another idea that I saw somebody use using a bucket. I will set that up at some point and show you that. But uh, this is what uh, I'm using right now and we'll probably continue to use something like this if it stays this dry over the summer. So uh, that's it for uh, this part of the video and uh, just show you some of the frost damage that we had and uh, go from there. And like I said, we had another couple, uh, we had a hard frost here the other night and uh, the tomatoes didn't make it. Good thing I plant lots that are still in the greenhouse and I can replace these. So I'll probably do that later today or tomorrow.
usually the uh, tradition has been June 1st for planting tomatoes and cucumbers. Uh, I was pushing the envelope a little bit and got caught. So I'll just replace them and carry on. Other than that, everything is looking really good. And that's the update for now. Uh, might uh, do another split here later today. I'll uh, keep the camera handy for that. And as usual, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, spread the word, let's grow some food.